I, I'm a kid who used to fuck the crevice of a couch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, wow, leather? <laughs> oh, he bet. I mean, and thank God. Can <laughs> no, you that corduroy would have chapped my dick up. You know what I mean? Chap my dick up. <laughs> Chap my dick up. <laughs> That's like an Al Yankovic <laughs> remix of Slap My Bitch Up. Chapped my dick up. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to the last episode of the year of Fun With Dumb with my co-host, Steffi Bake and Rick Lee. And of course, Alex, the intern, is the return. back. Yay. Has returned. Alex, can they can the Hi. people see you for a second here? Woo! Oh, this so man nice. has been on tour with a K-pop, K-rock group called The Rose. Mm. Thousands of people showed up to these shows. Wow. Like this fool went to Rio de Janeiro, um, uh, Mexico, Argentina, Argentina, and sold out six thousand plus venues. Wow. Let's go! Insane, right? I, I mean, I can't believe it, man. It, it was real. While Korea was getting killed in the soccer match by Brazil, yeah, they were at this concert venue. <laughs> thousands of Brazilians were watching Koreans on stage. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. They, they love least, K-pop out there. At least to 6,000 people, we were winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To the rest of the country, we were losing. We were losing. Um, but we are here, guys. This is the end of the year. We've had some ups and downs, some fights, some beautiful moments on this podcast. Yeah. Beautiful moments in our lives, mm -hmm. some terrible moments as well. <laughs> and I thought we kind of just <laughs> uh, pretty much described life. Over, yeah. yeah, it is all over the place. But you know what? I also did get some numbers uh, on Spotify about some of our uh, podcast listeners Ooh, and stuff. I want to know. Okay, what list so have we made it to? this year we created 3,214 minutes. We talked for 3,214 <laughs> minutes. Probably more cuz three there's still three episodes left. Holy oh, shit. Yep. That's a lot Isn't that of talking. crazy? And that's more than 97% of other creators in this category. <laughs> Are you wow. wait what? Wait, wait. Yeah. So we're in the top 3% of like minutes created in, of, of, of a pod. That's and then our top five listeners come from number one, United States. Yes. USA. 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 <laughs> number you. two, our friends up north, Canada. Canada. Yeah, Canada. Number three, our friends up wakes, Australia. <laughs> really? Australia. Yeah, Aust Australia. And number four. The United Kingdom. Let's go. That's Mac That's Easy. Mac -Easy. Yeah. It's like just Mac Easy and it's just Woiks. And number five, Germany. Oh, wow. Yeah, did you know that? That's Nine. good. That was unexpected, right? That's, That's good. That's good. That's good. good. Uh -huh. We play a little Hi. pork rub. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out, I Sheila. Love pork rub. Yeah. Um, and then uh, let's see what we got. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, we are in the top 5% of most shared globally the podcast top five percent yeah top five percent. oh that's cool i wonder Not how bad. does it tell you how they're sharing because i i think i've seen that where yeah. people mm -hmm. is it through text they they share it 41 percent is to direct link actually oh everything else is like smaller 15 percent i think like we got to do more because i feel like our instagram could be shared more because people are sharing directly they're just sending right. a link right you know what wow. i mean as opposed to i mean it's not a bad thing i'm just saying maybe we could and it says our listener's personality uh, is the enthusiast. <laughs> it breaks down the personality yeah, of Yeah, listener. your listeners are super fans. When their favorite podcast releases a new episode, they're among the first to know, going wow. above and beyond to show their support. That's, That's awesome. Cool. Is that y'all? It's, it's kind of funny because I feel like I'm not the enthusiast. <laughs> like my whole style of potting is not enthusiastic. Oh. Imagine a bunch I'm a of pessimist. Like kids I don't like know. Running. That just warmed me up, though. Yeah, that was yeah. really cute. Yeah, and it, here's an interesting thing. So, 73 percent of our listeners discovered us this year. 73 <laughs> percent. Yeah. Wow. What the fuck were we doing for the last two years? <laughs> what the fuck were we doing for the last That's two years? That's weird. I wonder why. I don't know. I guess we hit it off this year. What's happened this year that's so different, huh? I don't that's know. That's beautiful. That the, that means the retention's there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They check it and then they keep coming back. That's well, cool. They're enthusiastic about us. <laughs> that's well, really cute. I want to know. You know, some pe. I want to hear from the people later on in the Discord. Let us know. Who, I want to see who had the best year, mm. and I want to see who had the worst the year. Worst year. So share us some of the uh, reasons you had the best year. Yeah. 
And I want to hear someone who had the fucking yeah, worst. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Highlight reel, blooper reel. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and, and we'll see. If, if I feel sorry enough for you, I'm going to send you something. Ooh. For the worst. I don't like it. I, I feel like I'm not really good at consoling people. When yeah. we're like, when we ever have, have you ever, have we ever had callers in and they tell us yeah. some really depressing story and I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like I wait for you guys to answer. I'm like, oh, well, you know, bring your two cents in. No, well, we're it's gonna, a hard thing to bring, you know. Yeah. I mean, what we're going to do is if the person who had the best year. Uh, is gonna gift the person with the worst year, <laughs> so it's not coming Wait, from us. Colors? It's not coming from us. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. Let it trickle down a little bit. I, just, I like that. I was wearing a regular hat, and it's like I'm gonna change into a beanie, and now it looks crazy. <laughs> like this beanie looks insane to me. I don't it's know. Like you have a lot of thoughts right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but uh, how was you guys' this year? My year was up and down. You know, started off. Uh, it was a lot of valleys, a lot of peaks, but it was a steady incline the whole time. It was a steady incline. You, you know? skied down that I incline? S- you know, skied down, skied up. You think you're going to... I mean, we still have the two weeks. What do you think What do you think <laughs> was about this year that, you know, what was a big change that for the better? I think, you know, for the beginning of the year when I was really into intercrew and I had like that scheduled like that, you know, that was this year. Huh? That was this year. Yeah, man. It, it, you can accomplish a lot in one year. Yeah. I'm saying a lot of events occur in one year. Yeah. I don't know if I feel like I, accomplished I wish, that. I wish life had like a instant automatic recap thing. Like at the end of the year, where it just reminds you, you know, you want to Spotify rap. I want to Spotify your, rap for my life. For your life. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. man. Get the I, analytics. Well, at the end what of the I year. did was so, if you go on my Instagram page right now, I archived a thousand photos. So you know what I mean. <laughs> a I, thousand I'm saying, photos. I like, now you can only there's only like fifty photos now. Oh what? I got rid of all my old ones from the beginning when I first joined Instagram. How long did that take for you to Probably do? Probably took about fifteen minutes. Wow, fifteen minutes. Yeah. You're a quick decision maker on posting and things like that. No, nah, I just got rid of. I just started and from removing. the oldest joints, and I got rid. The oldest joint was probably f- almost. 12 to 15 years ago. <gasps> what was your first post? And I was post? posting pretty regular. Instagram's you know what I mean? Old? Holy shit. And you know when it's when it got to the point where you have the sep- sepia tones? Yeah. That's how old it got. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> that's kind of funny that the older. Regular filters? Yeah, the old Instagram? filters are literally kind of how, um, you know. You could date it. You look the old vintage photos <laughs> from like the war days is how the digital photos are too. And there's digital sepia too. Yeah, you know, there, there is. There is. Yeah, but. I archived over a thousand photos. It took a while. Even it, now, it's easier on Instagram. But yeah. It still took a long ass time because you could pick a hundred at a time. Is you like, can. Yeah. Do you feel like it's like hoarding pictures? Like, are we on Instagram hoarding pictures? Is there such thing as like hoarding pictures? Like on our phones, on Instagram? Yeah, of like, course. There's because there's unlimited memory. You can hoard it. I know, but do you do you feel like you've decompressed now? Like, do you feel cleaner or like? I don't know because it's so weird because I don't think nowadays we worry about hoard. I I don't think it would be even be considered hoarding because we have we endless have space. space, right? Yeah. So if you if you have a warehouse and you have a studio apartment that you're hoarding and you put the studio apartment junk into the warehouse, you're not really hoarding shit because really? you have tons of space. Because uh, no matter how big of a house I have, I feel like I'll have like. You can too much clothes and I'll feel like guilty because there's no way I'm going to get to that last piece of clothing hidden in the back. And that's that's not fair for the piece of clothing. What, <laughs> what are you Marie talking Kondo about? Marie Kondo over here right now. <laughs> I did watch Marie Kondo and it didn't work for me. But anyways, yeah, no, I, I've been thinking about like with clothing, I think I have a hoarding issue with it. I can't let go of it because every piece has a memory. So I'm thinking with pictures, I'm kind of the same way. Or like even emails, like having to like un- erase emails or it's just it's stressful it feels good to purge once in a while like purging uh like the followers how many people you follow yeah that i do you know i, mean? I follow three thousand plus people i feel bad unfollowing someone though because i don't want them to know that i unfollowed them if I- they know then it's good that you unfollowed them Right. What do you mean? If, wait, do you if, really want to follow someone that keeps track of who unfollows for them? Sure. Uh, They're maniacs, dude. Yeah. Have you ever have you been followed and then you realize that they unfollowed you? Has it ever happened to you? Yeah, yeah. actually, I, I have. It's happened to me. I'm yeah. not talking about an ex. Because you know when they that decide to follow you back, and you're like, wait, when did you unfollow me though? Why are you? Why yeah, are but you people asking? unfollow each other accidentally. For sure, it's happened accidentally. Sometimes I do sure. a mid post to like Ricky <laughs> to get mad at him. I hate the accidental follow. 
I follow somebody acts like a like a fan <laughs> accident because I'm I'm going through my followers and I accidentally follow a fan. Yeah, and then they post, "Oh shit, dumb followed me." Yeah, and I'm like, "Nope." <laughs> you do the unfollow. I have to. What do you mean? Like I didn't mean to follow them. Yeah, I feel bad and I'll keep it there. You're just gonna keep that friend? Yeah, I can't. I and it's, it's I feel bad. I don't know. It's I like the so friend, like it's like a group of kids. I'm like, oh yeah, but can he tag along? Exactly. All right, come on. Oh, you know, yeah. Made their day though. Why not? Uh, but yeah, how do we unfollow? There's definitely like uh, at least there's about a, a thousand people I do not care about their content, but they're my friend or they're people that have acquaintances that I'm going to run into again, like in Koreatown or something. Yeah. And I that's why I haven't unfollowed them. I d what do you think? Do you think it's rude because if I unfollow them, I kind of want to do it. Nah, I, nah, unfollow, follow. Don't worry about it. You don't have to overthink <laughs> it. It's okay. No, you don't. No one bad. cares, I assure you. No, they do care. I would unfollow my mom if she got annoying or something. You know? <gasps> Your mom got an IG? Well, she probably yeah, would have Yeah, but I'm not going to put that on blast. <laughs> no, I, I was just that Relax, nice, bro. I got excited. This one got his phone out and shit. <laughs> Somebody couldn't find it. <laughs> he started looking for his phone. He couldn't find that shit. Um, no, but my, you know what? My mom's been posting and stuff, and I can tell like she doesn't really get the gist of like how to post. Yeah. And, and and they're like not. I, I kind of want to help her. Like I want to be her social media. <laughs> You're the curator. Isn't yeah, it? I want to be her social media guy. Right. Why? Because I just, it's not, I can't stand it. It's for it. yourself. It's for your own. Her it's, username has like six numbers on it. You know, oh. like it's just it's too much. I want to help. I want to help her. Is that a problem? Why can't I help her? I want to make her okay, Instagram it. page nice. All right, do it. That's cool. That's cute. That seems like a fun yeah, project to have. All right. Someone's like, get Dumb's mom to 10K followers. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> do not dare. I don't you dare. Blue check. <laughs> okay, so what's some of the things that happened this year? That's the hard part about these like end of the year lists because I cannot figure out like what the fuck happened top of the year. How about you put some of the, you put that, Alex? That's, have, that's I, the one. I have to go through my Instagram or look through my pictures to find out what I did this year. Because like all the days and the weekends, everything just kind of like there is no weekend for us. There's no like real holiday for us. Yeah. It's just kind of like our job like allows us to kind of do whatever we want throughout the whole year, which makes it so hard for us to have like these points of like uh, memory. Oh, I know some of the things I did. I played Coachella. Oh, yeah. That That's was fun. Big. That was sick. You went uh, to the Gucci event. I, oh, was that this year? That was this year. The That's what? so crazy. Uh, is that the Gucci wait, wait, Gala did thing? Did we switch to this studio this year? Yeah. I'm we did. Oh. I think we did top of the year or something wow. like that. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. We did a lot. We literally yeah. painted this room this year. Yeah. Uh, what else did we do? Um, played Head in the Clouds. Uh, what else? Um, I got to look through my pictures. Yeah. And you know what I realized too? We we run through so many guests. Sometimes you forget like who's been on. Like we've had a lot of fire guests here too. Yeah, yeah. Well, do we have any weird moments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was Bobby Lee this year? I think the, the the first one. Yeah. No, that was last year. That was last year. And then and then the second one was this year. Damn. Wow. We had some fights, ups and downs. Do we have any <laughs> fights this year? Because I think nah. we had less fights this year than we did yeah, last no, year. Yeah, no, we were like B plus with the with the rage. We were really like yelling at each other from <laughs> top of our lungs last year. Yeah. I think we just worked on our. I think maybe we had a little bit of a uh, breakthrough, bro. We had a little breakthrough, right? <laughs> we definitely feel a little on. closer. Why don't you? What, after you observing from an outside perspective as a woman and seeing these broy dudes. Um, Wait, are you? Let us know. What do you think? Is this a broy podcast? I don't know. You let us know. What do, um, what do you think? I think that you guys, yeah. I mean, I can't really remember. La was I on the pod last year? Beginning of last year? I think yeah, I was, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess. I don't know if it's like <laughs> less arguments. No, I think I actually this year has had more scary arguments this year right. than last year. Last year has been a lot of bickering and you guys openly fighting. This year has been like, I've just seen some things that like, I don't know. It's stressful. She's still talking about the Thanksgiving dinner, dude. I think we started, uh, bro. What Thanksgiving dinner? The one we were fighting? Yeah. yeah, when you guys were arguing about like time management. But mind you, we had a magnum size sake bottle. You know what I'm saying? We we had a lot of alcohol. You know there has I, been so much alcohol consumption between 100%. amongst you guys. That's why I haven't drank just, since... Just to, and you guys haven't drank. I haven't well, no, drank, no, no. I, I haven't I, I drank, drank in three podcast. weeks. I don't know when the last time you drank is, but I haven't drank in three Maybe weeks. Maybe that's why you... Do you think you guys drank more this year than last year? 
Oh, 100%. Okay, then maybe that's I think why... I might have drank more this year than my whole entire life. That's probably why what? you think yeah. you haven't gone into art. You think your things are fine maybe this year because you ha- the arguments are maybe like subdued by the alcohol. Like, mm. But for me, being, you know, here, it just seemed like really intense this year. You know what I know Rick is drunk? He messes up his hair. <laughs> it's just like disheveled. I'm Yo, like, my Whoa. hair. I don't know why. Just you're right. You know what it is? Because I start sweating and it starts breaking down the hair product in my hair. Dude. No, it's like you get drunk and you're like, I got to look the part. <laughs> ah! Are you drunk? Not yet. Hold on. And Steph's like, I'm high. You're like, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. No. We dress up oh for it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Steph, oh, had man. some good experiences. You went to your first festival. You my know. first festival this year, Coachella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And watching you perform at my first festival was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we had the whole uh, all access situation. Do you feel less nerdy and like square since you've done these things now? Absolutely not. I feel more square now. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah, because I realize like no matter w- with these experiences, I think I'm a bit more jaded. Like there's less things to be like excited about because those are things I hadn't experienced. But like, oh, I don't all feel- of a sudden you have nothing to be excited about after one rave. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> You've experienced it all. Well, I've right. done it all, baby. I've done it all. I've done it all. All right, but it's Steffi. because I got to experience a VIP access, and apparently, That's once true. you do that, it's like I don't. What am I gonna like? Search? <laughs> yeah. Where else can I go? Oh, from here? let me tell you, there's more. <laughs> you know um, how many VIP? Really? Very, very important. I've done. Wait till you get all access. Wait, that wasn't all access? Nah. You no, need to get so the I get the socials. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, no, actually, more than your access, you gave us a lot of access. I worked for Jamie XX. I did his socials, like some of the socials um, for his show. And so that gave me like really, I could jump any, I could be anywhere near Jamie XX if I wanted to. And Ooh. that was Well, that I'm pretty was sure you would have gotten kicked off the stage if you were like <laughs> five feet away from him. There's no doubt about that. Now that was pretty cool. I just got more so because like I never really listened to his music. It was just like other people were like excited for me. Right. So I was like, all right, that's cool <laughs> enough, I guess. So you, you did you did feel a little special that you had the access? Of course. Like, will you, like you is there no turning back? Like you would never go to a show now where you didn't. Dude, have that I was access. so fucking exhausted. G A. <laughs> no, General I was exa- No, I don't. I'm so prissy about that stuff now. Yeah. I won't. I can't go to like a regular show unless wow. I am like no. I or I have this crazy idea. This like I feel like I have a superpower where I could somehow probably get to the front <laughs> or the backstage. You feel confident. I just feel so confident that if I go somewhere, I'll be able to access I like back. how you would haggle at a show. <laughs> Captain haggle over hey, here. Hey, what if I it's, you it's let really me through <laughs> and I give you Mr. George Washington here. <laughs> <laughs> and his friend George uh, Washington. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is sure. ways. There's definitely ways you can access it. And with the limited amount I um, of experience, I could still tell you like I know how to access the back now. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm not talking about sexual shit shit if that's what people yeah. are thinking i'm not talking yeah. about that I'm anal just talking- <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> wow all right buddy yeah, you went to korea this year too oh yeah that okay that was a life changing oh, yeah. experience you went, to korea. you went to korea yeah i like how you remember our experiences well, you know you have a great memory you man. have an amazing <laughs> memory <laughs> she went to korea like a couple months ago i man. did you're you're the ox right yeah yeah uh, oxes i think <laughs> have great memory did they really yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think so how was Korea? I mean, you did a lot of life changing events. You had a lot I of li- life changing events. I think that's why I feel a little bit like toward the end of the year, I'm not going to lie, I feel a little like kind of bored. I feel mm. like things are getting a little bit like stagnant because I've gotten to do the things that I wanted to do. I went to Korea and seeing, I don't know, learning about my family's heritage was right. like a big. Boring. Deal. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. I'm I got kidding. to party in Korea <laughs> I get to underground. Pa- <laughs> Or I don't know why you said underground. Yeah. It's not underground. It's just actually just life. regular yeah. ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what were your thoughts? Parting till four in the morning, five in the morning um, at a club. I think it's cr- a little pervy. There's a lot of creepy men. So have... did a fob head on you or what? No, dude. Someone like touched my butt under my skirt. They like put your hand under your skirt? Yeah. I don't know if they grazed it. They did something and I turned around and they acted like there was like three guys. Did and you they say act- something? Of course. I pushed in the Korean guy. In Korean or what? I did the face shove. In Korean though? <laughs> if I was there, I would have killed him for My, you. Yeah. What, what's in Korean though? What did you say? 
the, that was the confusing part i didn't know how to yell like immediately when i turned i was like surprised and i went ah. like i wanted to say something in english yeah <laughs> yeah but then I, and then i had to like translate <laughs> i was like what's what, what's fucker in korean you know like you're in the moment you're like oh and i i said what nuga so like i said well, who did that i don't even know if that's the right way to say <laughs> it nuga so nuga so which means which one was it yeah and like i pushed and i, I kept thinking about like how disgusted i was yeah just so gross oh if rick and i were there it would have been you would have smushed the shit out of i would have smushed his face and rick would have kicked him in the chest yeah, yeah you would have i feel like you would have been a, a great little ping kind pong of... machine type situation um but other than that i was i guess it was fine there's all these like korean celebrities i wish i knew like hanging out with like korean celebrities or like celebrities is not as lit unless you know the celebrity or if you're a huge fan of the celebrity so like that's I think, like with any celebrity though. I guess, but then like I wish I was more excited about who I saw out there, mm. and that was kind of I guess whatever. Maybe I'm just jaded. Maybe I'm just older. I don't know. <laughs> like, do you ever just feel like you're done chasing you're over the night? Party? You, know? I, you know what that is? It's that's what it is. Yeah, you've been chasing the night all your life, and you finally caught the night. Yeah. Now what? Now what? I was like, that's okay, night. Like. I'm good with you, man. That was it, huh? You showed me everything you can. <laughs> and <laughs> and you just let it go over. like like a uh, koi fish in the pond. Right. Yeah, now I want to chase the morning, I guess, man. Ooh. Should I start waking up early? Wake up at 5? Should I start doing the 5 a.m. club? Hashtag well, I mean, club? you know, I, I quit drinking. I haven't drank in three weeks. Yeah? <laughs> I haven't drank in three weeks. I'm feeling crazy good. Probably the most fit I've ever been. Is That's that why amazing. you took your sweater off finally? Or you yeah. Should... Let's so, see the arms. So two and a half weeks ago, I weighed my... They have a machine that tells you your body fat. I was at 21.6% oh, 21. body fat. Yesterday, I checked it. It's only been two weeks. 19% nah, body fat. Let's go. By the end of this year, I'm gonna. I want. I'm aiming for 17%. 17 percent. Yeah, yeah. Is that like Hollywood? Like they said, ripped? Health, no, healthy is 10 to 13 percent. So. Wait, healthy is 10 to 13? 13, yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, athletic is 10 to 13. Dude, yeah, that's not sure. normal. 13 can't be healthy. 10 to 13 is, is athletic build. That's disgusting. So You're going to look like a fucking stick, man. So what? Okay, if it makes you happy. He's I'm ready. Sorry. He's ready to sorry, go. Sorry, you know what? I realize I do that. I, You know, I'm happy for you. I want you to achieve all your goals. Or do you? Yeah, I just you know what it is. I get nervous that it's unhealthy the way you do it because you go so. What do you mean all unhealthy? In. I work out. I eat healthy. I'm it's not like, doing how drugs. Are you stay I'm not consistent drinking. If it's like all in at one time instead of just like slowly, like you, are you gonna quit everything at one time and then like how are you gonna like? There's enjoy only one the thing things? for me to quit right now, and it's alcohol. Yeah, and that is the hardest thing for that, me to yeah. do. So, but and I'm I'm doing it right now. Yeah. So that's it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like cigarette. I mean, what do you think? I think cigarettes harder to quit than alcohol. You think? Yes, it yeah. seems like probably it. both. No, pretty hard, I think they honestly. both are both hard. hard. Yeah. Um, it said that. What did it say? Average body fat is twenty to thir for people age twenty to thirty five is about twenty to thirty two body fat. Man should be at eight to nineteen. Eight That's to nineteen body fat. Women, what is women? okay? So, so men should women, be about eight to nineteen percent. That's still like a huge range. Yeah, That's a very crazy. But range. I'm saying like I was already over the average body fat. I yeah. just got to the end of That's the average. Crazy. I'm at nineteen right now. I'm trying to get to seventeen in two two weeks or so. But two percent loss. In two women women have more body good. fat in general. Really? Yeah, women are supposed to just have more body fat, so it's 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 average to, for them for theirs to be a little Is higher. Because of the boobs. Mm -hmm. It's because of the butt, the boobs. The butt, the boobs. The it's butt. the baby having a baby. You can't, yeah. you know, all of that keeps you. Rick, warm. are you down to come to, come to my gym and just just use a machine just to see Fuck where yeah. you're at we want to see Hell where yeah. your body fat is yeah yeah let's definitely. guess right now and if I you got like he's got so much muscle if, if you guess the exact number alex and steffi i'll give this you a i'll up. give you a hundred dollars wow no you know what i don't believe it doesn't that. have to be the point or just just the yeah, number yeah. The, the main number just i'll give it a hundred dollars just guess no. it i'm not <laughs> do you want it or not i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move on do you want he's it or not he's promised me things okay. like Yo, who the fuck's at 50 percent, bro hey do you want it or not just guess the number fine just guess it um, I think I'm in the 30s right now. No, I want to no, say. No, no. I think you're at 28, 27. Really? Okay. 26. 26. 26%. Alex? 
was gonna say twenty six, but I'll go twenty seven now. Okay, yeah. not so twenty five. Huh? 20, you wanted to go higher. Huh? Alex said twenty seven percent. Yeah. Uh, you said twenty six percent, Steffi. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. then I'm gonna just go with twenty five. Twenty five. I'm gonna give you a benefit of a doubt. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's even go though, this week. Even though you drink soy sauce literally, <laughs> so I'm gonna. <laughs> but I mean, soy sauce but, isn't fat. It's so. You like it soy. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. So tw what was it? 25, so 26, and 27, yeah. right? Okay, cool. Wait, wait. What kind of machine is it? I feel it's, stupid. It's just a it's machine. Body like you, you machine. put your bare feet down. Uh -huh. You have these two sticks that you grab and you put your thumb on. And it it, it, it checks your body muscle, uh -huh. your body fat. Oh, sick. And all How long things. does it take? It's like five seconds. Okay. You feel more muscle. Like you just seem like Yeah, yeah. But you know what it is, though? I, it's like... My stomach is so big, so I just gorge. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I read, you know, like there's a picture of Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Yeah. Alex, pull this up. I know uh, what you're talking about. You know, Brad Pitt, Fight Club. It's like, a, you know, the popular picture where he's yeah, literally that. in the Fight Club shirtless. That, that picture, the top one right there. Yeah. So there's an article about this picture. He went crazy tra trained for this. He's at 5% body fat <gasps> right there. That's like really hard to that's do. That's what 5% looks like? That's really hard that's to do. Crazy. That's crazy. That's 5% body fat. Holy that's shit. That's five? Yeah. So wait, Dumb, now that you, you know, you, you're kind of like at the gates of the Hollywood thing, is there tips and secrets? Like, what are what are a few secrets? Come on, man. Celebrities, they definitely have some fat burning like methods that not normal people they know about. They do cool fat. Uh, right laser. like the ice Dude, like these, they... these people are spending a shit ton of money on lasers it's not the same as just working mm. out. They could, I mean, you well, have to do they that could, too i mean there's ways you can cheat it like you can burn you can uh freeze your fat you yeah know that's what, what I, mean. I mean yeah yeah, yeah, the yeah cool laser stuff but i mean i don't know it's like those aren't going to change your habits yeah you know? and then you can gain that shit really back yeah. really quick you know yeah yeah yeah. but i don't know Ste you know i'm curious about steroids i know yeah. you've told us last time you want to try i know it. you have the bug or what it. Yeah, but I don't want to. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Obviously, there's, my... there's this thing. It feels like you're cheating. Yeah, that's true. It's also unhealthy, isn't it? Or is it not unhealthy? Like it's supposed it's... to be bad. It's supposed to keep your dick like the size of a pinky. Or so you don't right? care about that. What do you mean? Did you know, what do you mean? Keep if you your... could, if you could it get keep your dick. It's supposed to keep my dick the way it is already. No, I'm kidding. If you can look like no, I'm that... saying it's supposed to be like shrink your dick, isn't it? Yeah, but, but if you, you said... knew, <laughs> yeah, you said like as if your dick is small yeah, yeah. already. <laughs> it's not gonna make my dick any bigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yo, what's the cause of steroids? It keeps your dick pinky size. <laughs> Okay, that's not what I meant, guys. Wow. All right, Jesus Christ. Do you, if you knew your dick would stay small like that, <laughs> do you think that? And um, if you did steroids, but you look like half closer to him, to uh, Brad Pitt, would you yeah. do it? But your dick if would I, get smaller. If I what? If your dick would get smaller, and it was literally the size of your this finger right here, yeah. would you still do it to look like Brad Pitt? Nah. Really? Nah. Nah, because think about it. Like the girls that you meet, you're like, damn, you're what, hot. What do you what do you mean? It would also shrink like after you get hard and everything, or what? Do yeah, you mean? you're gonna, yeah. Like it's, overall, you're overall. just it's just a smaller. Nah, pinky. I don't think that's worth it. I don't think it's worth it because because you know like girls just don't they like all range of dudes whether you're shredded or or a little chunky, they don't really care about that as much. I feel depends on the girl, but I feel like I'm just height. Saying. I feel like height is the more more height? thing. I think girls from what I have he heard is that they care more about a tall guy mm, or uh, taller. Are you more guy. likely to smash a six foot dude to a five eight dude? I mean five five ten two inches apart. I personally don't care about height. I do care more about muscliness. I think. You said you've dated dudes shorter than you. Yeah, I like feeling like a tall queen with a tall a short king is that what they call him yeah I, I feel hot and i kind of feel like a trophy girl or how something. would you feel if like some tall dude passed by you and and you're let me tell you short something. king and he was he, the dude was like you're with that little midget <laughs> how would that make you feel at when I you're sta st I would standing feel, next to him i'd feel i would feel bad for the short guy and then i would think that guy was such a tall dick you would know? you would you say something like yeah but this midget's fucking this like would you say something like that to make him feel better <laughs> I would, I would be like, don't <laughs> listen to him, and then I would nunchi like the tall guy really like. Wait, wait, fuck? you would say that to your boyfriend, like, don't listen to him. That's not gonna make him feel. No. Any oh better. hell no! Nah. That's the worst thing to say, say that's for a confidence. Uh, you know what I'd probably say? I'd be like, he doesn't know about your tall dick or something like that. 
I don't know if that would make me feel better. <laughs> what would that make you? What makes but your dick's tall. Because you're still saying, you're, still, sh- about you're still telling them you're short as fuck, but your dick's tall. <laughs> yeah, but some short guys don't care they're short. You think every short guy cares? Mm. I think the tall. ones with like game, they don't care. I ha- Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, I'm going to tell you, tall men are really bad at cuddling. Mm. And sometimes they have monster dicks. Mm. I have literally left situations, like makeout situations, where, you know, I might caress the outside, and then yeah. I'm like, uh, my pussy just kind of like sk- squeezes itself into like a tiny thing and runs away. And then it's like, nope, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be with this person. It's, just, it sucks, and it's usually the tall. It's it's been so far. Well, tall first of men. all, the cuddling thing is because you know it's the proportions are usually weird to yeah. configure Group. if you're a tall dude for sure. You know. But also, like it's like it's like it's it. so it's so whack. Like when you like try to uh, diss a tall dude and say it's not tight, they got a monster dick. Like that still boosts their ego. <laughs> while you're shitting on them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, scary. No, no. I think for girls, you tell your short boyfriend his dick's too big. <laughs> it's, it's not. Wow. It's not like the tall dude's like. Oh man, <laughs> my dick's a monster. That's because you guys are guys, but girls understand this. No, I get it. I know girls what you're don't saying. like it. girls don't like the really really big uh, dicks or whatever. Like that's not. Yeah, but if you were like with a, you know uh, your boyfriend, you were like, oh my god, I love your dick, baby. God, the last guy was had a monster dick. That would not be a complimentary thing to your current yeah. boyfriend. Go to the bar, uh, have no. a few drinks. Just be average, honestly. Like, be average is fine. Like, or a little above average. That's great. Mm. Whatever. Mm. And be tall. Be short. Whatever. It's just be average, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, do you guys feel like that about like a woman's size of vagina? I don't really be thinking about that. Yeah. I, I'm a kid who used to fuck the crevice of a couch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, wow, leather. <laughs> oh, he bet. I mean, and thank God. Can no, you imagine that corduroy would have chapped my dick up. You know what I mean? Chap my dick up. <laughs> That's like an Al Yankovic <laughs> remix of "Slap My Bitch Up." Chapped my dick up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit but i mean yeah it's just, it's just very <laughs> chapstick <laughs> <laughs> no it's just like yeah i mean you know at that age you're horny so you just you're out everywhere yeah yeah a crevice give me a crevice for sure give me a really what's the weirdest thing you guys have had sex with elbow no way really <laughs> what do you mean your elbow or whose elbow <laughs> that would be some monster Dude, that's huh? wild yeah that's <laughs> yeah. a monster just like this you do the chicken oh, and you know <laughs> Oh man. So, okay, yeah. so what's the best thing that's happened to you guys this year? You guys. Oh, shut up. That doesn't sound real. Wait, why did Alex just respond? Yeah. What did Alex what? No, 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 that's right. Yeah, I think it's because we said Alex and Alexa was like oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You call? Yeah, yeah. Um Alex, what what did you what happened with you this year? Why don't you come over here? You can come over here for a sec if you want. Alex found a girl this year, baby. Oh yeah, you got to go Remember, for it this ex- year, right? The extended get to know you actually yeah, graduated yeah, yeah. to. Uh, okay, talk to us, Alex. What do you got? Yeah, I had a really great year. Uh, thanks wow. to you guys. Aww. Thanks to all the people in my life. But yeah, I did get booed up this year. Uh, it's been I haven't had I've been in a relationship in years, and like, uh, it kind of just came as a surprise, and just one day led to another, and now it's been months. And uh, you guys are it, in love, I'm right? Really happy. Has it been like just steady? You're not bored or anything. It's been you know um, exciting. Yeah. Wait, you want him to end his relationship right now? That's why. I know, right? <laughs> no, I just wanted. To, well, how was it? Like you know, this is the first year in, and and the first year is always nice, of course. And, and the honeymoon here, season, it's downhill from here. But I want to know what. Yeah, what, what it's do you like. hate about her? No, no, it's it's been really cool, and especially like when I was on the road, like she was very understanding of like that. I was just working, That's you know, cool. sixteen, eighteen hour days, and and traveling all over, but. Um, yeah, you know, we, we do like have done some day trips. We haven't yet really done like a vacation together too. So there's still a lot to look forward to. Right. But, um, in terms of just, you know, uh, having, it was like the first tour I'd ever done single or not single. And, you know, I felt like, you know, completely all right. With you just, were like, controlled. I got a, I got a girl waiting at home for yeah. me. Like, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. And no be a, be a dog. Not, not a nah, single bone. Do you wrap nah, it up? Nah. What do you mean? He said he hasn't. Fuck! What are you talking about in his relationship? Yeah, this why relationship. Is so personal? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I'm wondering if you had a baby with her, would you keep it? Um, we we used other types of contraceptives. Good for you. Yeah, so we're proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like aluminum foil. <laughs> What's the? 
Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's good, man. I'm I'm happy that you're out here. Um, Your you know. energy yeah. seems a little different, Alex. Yeah, seems you know, happy. I actually lost like almost 10 pounds yeah. uh, on the road because wow. uh, basically, you know, just from lifting stuff, carrying stuff, being on my feet, yeah. running to front of house and back, running all over the venue, you know, and just like, uh, you know, the, the venues were so hot, especially in Latin America. Like the air conditioning was not great. We had like tons of people passing out and stuff, but... I did lose weight, but it was just so, it was very nice to get out of the office and be on my feet and work right, my hands right, again. Right. Yeah. What was For that? Sure. Is there any crazy tour stories? You've uh, been on our tour. You've yeah. been on their tour. I mean, um, I, I guess one of the craziest things is our, our tour bus caught fire. <gasps> What? what yeah yeah we were like um we'd Girl only had the bus for a couple of days away. and the bus had just come off like a jack harlow city girls tour so we weren't sure like if it got properly serviced or whatnot because <gasps> it just like met us like a couple shows wow. in and then we were driving from toronto to washington dc and then there's this loud bang and i was in my bunk and i was like i just had this my life kind of flashed before and then i was like okay we're still kind of rolling so i went back to bed but then it started like the bus when, started you, when your crazy. life flashed before you what did you think about did, i actually did we pop up into i was gonna ask that your memory <laughs> yeah yes you guys did and uh the what one moment what I, moment <laughs> like yeah, where, if we say your, the, your life flashes before your eyes right. and we pop up into that memory what are we doing i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna say like probably a group dinner a group dinner oh. we were all just having korean having barbecue good, or yeah what? it's probably probably korean, korean barbecue food, yeah. all right nice. cool, cool, cool some good okay. food but k okay, checks out yeah <laughs> basically we just started smelling smoke and then the bus pulled over in the middle of the highway and we didn't even have a fire extinguisher on the bus they put it out with water bottles what the and then we were stranded until the sun came serious? up the tow truck came and pulled our equipment trailer we got in ubers and we did the show <gasps> but uh you That's made it on time. Yeah, we made I it, mean, we there's going to be stuff like that always. Yeah. Really? It's, it's tour, tour buses going, get catching on fire? That's something. Thing? You see, you've had uh, all access, VIP. <laughs> you haven't gone on tour yet. Why would I go on tour? Unless uh, I was I'm a saying, dancer. Could be, unless I was a merch person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One of those. That's Wait, a whole different fun? thing. Yeah, it's it's so <laughs> fun. You get to see new places, meet new people. Um, like the shows are so rewarding. Like the fans were just absolutely amazing. Like loudest I've ever heard people scream. And yeah, wow. the band was just top notch professional, and they delivered every night. What country just, was the loudest? Uh, it was definitely in South America. It's probably a tie between like every country in South America. But the but the the first time I really had to cover my ears and just n knew that it was going to be wild was Chile. Chile yeah, was really Chile was wow. crazy. Wow. Really? Yeah. Just so loud. And they had like roughly... So no Chile, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the capacity for Chile was, you know, was like low, was like lower than some of the other countries, but just like the, the vocal Energy. power, it was, it was the literally vocal. painful. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Sick. Well, we, we missed you, Alex. I miss you guys too. Shout out Tony. He held us down while Alex was gone. Absolutely. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out Tony. Tony. Uh, well, how many, was that a month and a half or two months? Uh, It was, it was almost two months. Oh, like 50 months. some days yeah, yeah. man yeah That's tony crazy. held us down but uh we missed you alex man glad to be back so, yeah it's the first time we met you was on our tour right it was so you're like the tour god now this man was, this is like my eighth or ninth tour <gasps> with transparent yeah you know i so. gotta ask as the foodie of the pod favorite thing you ate on tour bro. favorite thing i ate was I had three of them in the same country, but was the Lomo Saltado. Oh, yeah, I was like, man, wait, 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 say it again, yeah. Lomo Saltado. Oh my god, I, Jesus I'm gonna Christ. go send you back there to get a lesson <laughs> on pronunciation. Actually, you say, hey, you say Lomo it. Saltado. <laughs> Lomo <laughs> Saltado. <laughs> you know, my... oh, no Lomo. <laughs> Lamo Saltado. <laughs> oh my, hola. <laughs> we had some hola, uh, uno mas Lamo Saltado. <laughs> hold on, dumb. He his Spanish is really good. He used yeah, Spanish. Yeah, but what, what, what happened more. right there? <laughs> it's Why you say it? You say, say it. Say your pronunciation. Go ahead. What happened? Say the pronunciation. Oh. Lomo Saltado. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Changed. The <laughs> Edgar came out. Hell Hola, yeah. me llamo Edgar. Uno más, lomo saltado. <laughs> that's good, man. I'm just saying that sounded a little funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, sure. but it was yeah. fire. That, I mean, I've had it here. Yeah, you know, Mario, uh, yeah, Mario. Is... Yeah, yeah, Mario is like it's Peruvian, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But but it was it was crazy over there. Yeah, yeah. It was it was great to have that dish in country. And um, was there green sauce or is that bullshit? I've always curious about. Um, that. the sauce it came with was wasn't green, but wasn't. there was we had some really good chimichurri in Argentina. That was mm. that was pretty fire. We had it's steak steak green dinner in Argentina. There. Did no, you no, it was that? the one that we had was uh, the chimichurri was green. It, it was. was. My cousin told me from Argentina told me that it's not 
original chimichurri is not green. Well, you guys <laughs> are Korean. <laughs> so there's kimchi. Let's it's like clarify red. that. You think they right? put kimchi sauce? Yeah, he's talking about yeah. the kimchi chimichurri. Yeah, yeah kimchi chimichurri. Sure. Yeah, let's. Kim let's... chimichurri. Kim chimichurri. Kim chimichurri. Um. Oh man. All right, Alex. What are you looking forward to for 2023? Uh, 2023. It's a new Alex with the bucket hat. No Ooh, trucker. Yeah, wearing been wearing this he bucket a lot more. He doesn't have facial hair either. Do you notice? Does that? they obey? Yeah, she, yeah it's a obey. Yeah. My Alex is like the male version of Wednesday. He's Thursday. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Thursday right here. This That's sad. I gotta watch that show. It looks. It's all over TikTok. It's pretty yeah. Man's Day. Yeah. Okay. Did you miss Good us? You. I did. I missed you guys. I haven't caught up on the previous episodes, but when I'm looking through them tonight, I'll what did you miss look. about each of us? One thing. <laughs> um, I, I think I think more than anything, it's like we've had really, you know, we've had some really great ups and some downs, as you were saying earlier, and too, yeah. and and like just a bit of space, I think, for me and maybe for you guys too. It just you know reflecting. It's just so glad to see you guys 100%. again too. It's just after like a little space, just realizing how important did you need we all are in each other. Like, pretty I, much, what he just said <laughs> was, yeah, yeah, I needed yeah. to get away. You needed oh, some man. space. Yeah, I, I will. I'm not gonna lie. I did realize because I used to. I was giving Alex shit all year. <laughs> Like I was so, you know, he was my right hand. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. You know, he's my shooter. <laughs> you know, I mean, we were out here. We did all the festivals together. Right. We did all the shows, the pod. As soon as you left, it was chill the first week. I yeah. was like, oh, cool. We'll just switch it up a little bit. Second week, I was like, what the fuck is this guy? Wilson? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, Wilson? He was, he was having withdrawals. I was having withdrawals. Was. I'm not going to lie. I, Alex? Alexa? <laughs> I mean, I mean. Alex started getting the text from me like he was probably in Chile and shit. And I was like, what's up, buddy? How's Tor? Oh. He started, he started getting the text. I got yeah. one of those. Yeah, you got one of those. It's like, is there anything you need, Dom? I'm like, oh, no, I'm just checking up on you. I feel like every time he leaves, there's a new replacement, like a body replacement. Mm. And it's uh, this time it was JL happened to be like. Yeah, I'm like, JL, JL, <laughs> JL yeah. just wear this trucker hat. Let me just. <laughs> no, just, just hear me out. Just wear it for the whole night. All right. I just Try this wig on real quick. Yeah, well, do you mind? Do you mind? I just want to. Come on. Yeah, oh, but man. but it was, it was uh, we missed you, man. It was we realized you're you irreplaceable, too. man. Uh, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm back yeah. here. You're irreplaceable. We couldn't get anyone to share Asian facts. I know. I know. We're shit. throwing you on the uh, spot right now. But is there an Asian Asian uh, almanac fact that you could just come up? Just just I, I yeah. missed your voice. We did. We oh, missed it, man. Um, how about you go over there and look it up, and we'll, <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to your segment. Yeah, get off the camera. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I just saw a fucking black spot here. The ring girl. Yeah, yeah the, the girl in the ring. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, what else? Twenty twenty two. Yeah. In the news, I mean, there's a lot of terrible, tragic things. War oh broke out. God. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. That Ukraine. the world. Oh, there's still yeah. going on. Yeah, I believe so. Right. Yo, David Letterman. You know, uh, my new guest or like his show. He has the Ukrainian president. Coming I know. Out. I saw that. Well, what's, he, what's he doing here? <laughs> like, well, he's interviewing him. Oh, oh wait, did, yeah. no, no, no! I think David Letterman went. Oh, to Oh, you went over there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, come on, bro. I know. I thought he mid came to mid war. Mid war. Do a for press a run. <laughs> a mid war yeah, press know, run. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Jeez. Mid drone strike. I know. I know. No, but uh, uh, I, I there was a funny bit that Chappelle did, did about Ukraine. Mm. They were like, "How is U Ukraine kind of winning in the <laughs> war against Russia?" They're like the bad news bears of war. Yeah, you know, but that's uh, like if Colorado beat United States. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. War. That was a good bit. That was a good bit. Yeah, uh, um, what should we call it? Um, the movies this year. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Squid Game was this year. No, no, that was, that was last end year. of last year. That was end of last year. It dragged the fuck on. Wow. They, 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 they stretched <laughs> yeah. Squid Game out, bro. Damn. Squid Game was so stretched out. Yeah. It made like you know one of the characters a huge star, Ho Yun Jun, the model girl. Yeah. The yep. old guy had a scandal, a sexual assault <laughs> yeah. scandal. Ew. How it, the it was just like fuck? there's all these things that happen within the cast, and it was such a short amount of time yeah. that this thing has been out. It was so echoes from the Squid Game. It was a lot of shit. Damn. Uh, but uh, everything, everywhere, all at once was a sick movie. Yeah. Right. That was one, one of my of, favorites one of the year, of, uh, and, then, and, and of like the Asian American community as yeah. well. Oh, absolutely. And one then, the and then uh, Triangle of Sadness is in my top three. 
You, you keep talk, talking about I that. I think it, I watched a part of it, and I so far it's been pretty yeah, but good. You can't, who, I fell I could, asleep. Who, I don't don't put your partial. Movie why watcher? would you put a bookmark on a movie? <laughs> I, well, you know what I mean? That I like that's that's what you're doing. You're putting a bookmark on the movie. Putting a look mark. If, I'm just yeah. curious. Uh, a if it was that captivating, I wouldn't have fallen asleep. Wow. No, that's not true. I've I fell in a, I've fallen asleep during you know Citizen Kane, which mm. is considered one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> come on. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Come on. I know it's considered, but that's like a kind of a slow black and white fucking movie. You can't compare it to Citizen Kane. Well, I'm just saying. Mr. So wait, funny maybe guy, you, but. You start the movie off late, maybe. Mr. Funny Guy. <laughs> you just call me Mr. Funny Guy? Yeah, that's right. She's jaded. Are. Yeah, I ain't Mr. Silly. <laughs> You're trying to roast You're that movie for man. being that old while talking like that era. <laughs> hey, Mr. Funny Man. <laughs> Falling asleep during movies, eh? Yeah. Um, I, I would say Tar is was probably one of my top threes. Tar oh. was amazing. Yeah. Did you watch that one? Mm -mm. No. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I actually really liked Barbarian. Was it slow? <laughs> you know, Barbarian Tar was is fun. slow, but it's captivating. What's it you about? know when you can't like I didn't feel bored once during that movie. I know mm. a movie's good if I don't like think about my phone or what's going on anywhere else in my it, life. Is Tar like kind of let me let me predict what the movie might be about. Okay. I saw cool. the trailer. It's like intense conductor shit. Yeah, I feel like the movie has the vibe of Whiplash mm. and Black Swan. Okay. Am I wrong? I don't know. Am I, I, I wrong? I don't know the okay, reference sorry. of Whiplash. <laughs> You never I don't, seen Whiplash? I've never seen Whiplash. It's the dr intense drummer movie. Like the the coach is like you know the teacher is teaching with Miles. With Miles, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, and you've seen Black Swan. It's like an <laughs> intense. It takes two sticks for conducting. No, 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 no. Or one stick. So is that no, why you no, no, no. But Black it to Swan that? is also the intense ba ballerina film. Yeah. Yeah, I guess someone else yesterday night referenced it to Black Swan, but it's not as like intent like psychologically like that intense i feel like yeah it's good i liked it another great movie is the fablemans i just watched that watch that with your oh, parents watch Spielberg? that with your mom or dad yeah and it's um it looks like just like a really goody two-shoe movie yeah but it's also like a little racy and in like a little bit you know there's like things happening within the family that you would just never think let me ask like, he you makes something. it very sweet and not that so like Prop. But that makes sense. If that's about Spielberg as a kid getting into film, like yeah. to me, I feel like I always got into a hobby and went into my own world when I wanted to avoid this weird shit going on. For sure. If my parents were always horny or yeah. something or fighting all the time, like I was <laughs> like, I'm not. I don't, I don't hear you. Yeah, I'm making yeah, movies. Yeah. Like yeah. I want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you want to yeah. escape that escape room for sure. Uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steph, do you go to the theater to watch a lot of movies? Because I feel like yes. you, you're you're on top of a lot of the new joints yeah i feel like it's a great it's like i like to treat myself by going out mm. or like a, it's like a hobby that doesn't require to be like physically active right right right. so it feels like i'm still doing something but i'm just sitting you know somewhere else outside of my house yeah and i think as i've been partying less just you know this new era of you know, new activities just, I, new activities is like i like to be kind of chill and a movie theater is perfect for that so i've seen i try to watch like all the top movies i mean i will like, say i'm ashamed of myself that i didn't go to the theater as much this year because i truly think it's a better experience for, i like to, it for, for a film yeah being in a theater yeah but i'll tell you one thing i'm looking forward to what? is avatar the way of the water let's go bro you know what i mean because i mean it's a dude who literally waited for the technology to change to make this fucking movie J Cam. J come on dude. <laughs> no one calls him J Cam. Please do not ever it's, do that. Yo, it's J Cam, J -Cam, J -Cam baby. J Cam's cool. Uh, J you know that there was like uh rumors that people killed themselves after the first one. Why? What? Because you know, like it's all about like corporate colonization, right? It's about like how humans went to another race, another like uh... planet and like fucked it up. So they were like, humans, we don't deserve to live. I don't know if anyone actually did, but there was like articles about people like becoming suicidal after that movie. Mm, oh, because it was so environment. No, humans are assholes, bro. Yeah, they would never go into that zone. <laughs> like, oh, we don't deserve to live. Nah, they'll fuck up the shit more, bro. They're literally in a theater, just running up all the environmental. You know. Whatever. Do you watch the first one? Craziest thing you've ever done in a theater. Oh my god, I need to know yours now because I know you're asking because you've done some no, weird no, 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 shit no, I, no. I didn't do anything weird shit. I mean, I've gotten a hand job in a theater. You got a little HJ, and theater. and I've, I've, you know, like finger banged a girl in a theater. We've never had sex in a theater. Mm. You know, really? I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten head in a theater. Yeah, have you ever given head in the theater? 
You look a little suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that, we'll take that done, silence. Wow. I've done more than that, okay, buddy? Oh, you wow. fucked in a theater. What movie was playing? I accidentally sat on a dick. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, what, what, movie, what movie was it, though? We gotta see. Because a movie is, is also. Seat? You gotta choose the right movie to do this. No, this was not a sexy movie. It wasn't. It was yeah. inappropriate. What actually. was it? You're like storks. <laughs> <laughs> cars, too. The cars, too. They were going so fast. <laughs> That's a kid's movie. That's a fucking Pixar movie. Uh, oh, do you remember man. what movie? You, like, you might have had sex in it? I don't remember, but I just. Yeah. I don't remember. What's the horniest movie you've seen in a theater? Titanic for sure. Was Titanic was horny when it first oh, came out. Oh yeah, right? but that was with my parents, dude. It was weird. It I, was like, I saw Titanic with my whole fifth grade, sixth grade class. I remember they like, took you. Yeah, because it's it's a it's historical. still a, it's a historical period piece, you yeah. know. But that part came aware? up, and we were all excited. Yeah, yeah. Kitties, like you know. Honestly, I don't think people realize that was a pretty iconic nude scene kate winslet yeah being drawn by um, yeah right that was it's a pretty iconic very iconic that was iconic it was a pg-13 and, rating too but it yeah no it wasn't it was are you really? sure titanic is not r really how did Look they get away how did they get but you know what it is it's like when you kate winslet has a very she has classical you yeah, know like uh, french like french painting. titties yeah. she has yeah she has she michelangelo is. titties she has, yeah she got the angelo she titties looks she got like the angelo a titties sure. she looks like a beautiful painting that's what i'm saying when you have michelangelo titties you can let that slip yeah. through somehow like it's not because it nudity, looks like a painting almost exactly. it looks like a fucking painting she looks so soft doesn't it and ethereal like you want to like cuddle up right next those to her those are probably the first soft titties that i've ever seen yeah, in my life for sure like soft in a way that you like is it not as corny I just, as it's... I remember it it did hit me like wow that was like a very iconic scene and, and thinking when you watch it back it's not even that vulgar or nothing yeah but it was one of a very horny but I was also like a, it was like a middle teenager. school teacher middle titties school, yeah you know yeah what I'm yeah saying? so the middle school titties middle school teacher titties not middle school titties no really? no really no. I think those are beautiful titties oh no they're excellent titties like they're so soft I am the way that I am because I was because I was exposed to sex at a very very young age did you know it was that no i didn't know i found my box of porn i found my dad's box of porn my uncle's box of pornos in my dad's closet oh my at gosh. a young age like how old? right next to the, there was a box full of these vhs tapes baited like these old like smaller vhs tapes with a back massager the combination of those tapes and the bad oh massage made God. me who I am right now. That is so in a, like that's like that's really put on the parents, right? Can we blame? The oh parents yeah, for yeah, this? yeah, like, for this, sure. Uh, ridiculous. But no, no, my dad hit it very well. But you know, when you're at a young age, you and you know, all you look through everything. Are you kidding me? Give me a yeah. screwdriver, I'll look through everything. You know, so I found it, and it just made me who I am. You know, so I think definitely, yeah, it <laughs> it, it, it formed me. You know, wow. but when's the first time you found out about porn? uh porn it was or, really it was young too, it was young too but right? i freaked out my react remember i told oh, you guys yeah. this you tried to I, destroy I, ripped, it. I took the vhs and i destroyed it yeah it did <laughs> it fucked me up like i was like it was so crazy to me to see that that i took the tape out and i, I That's my so first dramatic. reaction yeah. was i took the little tape thing inside That's the so VHS. innocent of you to so read. it was very innocent <laughs> 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 I, I did destroy it. I, I think it was just because also it was because my sister and everything was in the household. And I yeah. was like, this is like not this shouldn't be here. Like, this, oh, you're it felt yeah. wrong. Like, oh, it felt bro, really wrong. I have a crazy story. So I had a friend named Rick, another guy named Rick. Right. And uh, he was two years older. He, he, he was held back. So he was like a super, super senior. We went to his house because that's that was like our place where we smoke, you know, his father, like he, he was a businessman, very successful. He would rarely be at home. He's traveling all the time. So he had an open house. We just smoke. And he, he was like, Hey, you want to see something crazy? So we go upstairs and he had his dad's porn stash. Mm. Right. So there was so many tapes. It was like a blockbuster of porn. We're like, what the fuck? The horny. I was like, all right, let, let's check this one. We watch like five seconds of it and then we pull it out and then we, we keep going to different tapes. Right. Yeah. We're all like, we're sitting cross-legged on the carpet right in front of the TV and we put in this tape and it starts off with just like an empty room and it's the room that we're in. <gasps> oh my what God, the dude, fuck? That it's like a the room thing. that we're in. That is creepy as fuck. And he just had like 15, 20 tapes of just him fucking all these random girls oh my on God, the carpet dude. that we were on. 
What, your friend's dad? <gasps> My friend's dad. But he's That's single. A lot. Yeah, he's single. He's single. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was married. He <gasps> was married. He was married? He was married. Yeah, yeah. And Dude, then we found all these scary. things. That's wild. It was weird because it looked like... It was like, you know, it was like VHS. We put it in and it, it looked like a reflection of the room. That's creepy as fuck. Well. That's, that's creepy as Is that fuck. fucking crazy? <gasps> nah, but it fucked him up. Like my boy Rick, because he didn't know about that. So he's like, hey, hey, hey everyone leave the house. <laughs> God damn, no wonder you're so fucking weird. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, man. Oh so, you know, God. that inspired my career. Well, you know. <laughs> Everyone. You're like, I'm going to be a star. Yeah, exactly. Just like him. All right, so. Did you think he was cool or not after watching that, though? Nah. I, nah, I, that shit's. That, that was a little too much. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a little too much. Um, so what else was great this year? <laughs> <laughs> what else happened this year? Um, I probably watched the least amount of porn this year. Yeah? I, yeah. I, I, I barely watched I've only porn watched porn probably like a, less than a handful of times this year. Yeah. Really, because. Were you a big porn watcher or what? No, but I do this thing where I'll... I think I've just been more creative about the sex. What? And also just not... I'll kind of like make my own. <laughs> okay, but you're saying sexual stuff you're, you've been creative with. Like how you get get turned on. Yes, it's like I've like really come into what? the... <laughs> Like claymation. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten like um, I've made my own three like penis little cartoon things. What? Muppet, Wait, what? Little Muppets. <laughs> They're dicks. What do you mean? They like all hang out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just kidding. I've introduced them into. They all hang out. Did you guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like here. It's the I'm pussy here. monster. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dude. Something like that. I won't do that again. Yeah, Ew, please. That's Sorry. gross, Sorry. dude. I, I just imagine if somebody had noise canceling headphones on right now and they have to hear that right now. <laughs> the vibration in their ears. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. Like they're in church with these AirPods on and noise cancellation. They're just like, oh, shit. It no sounds like you're right? like munching oh. through a bunch of like hair. Oh, my God. Wow. Pubes. Well, it's been a wonderful year, 2022, fun wow. with dumb, and we're going to do a bunch of amazing things this upcoming year. I want to thank everybody who's tuned in. I hope you guys are having a great holiday. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for a fantastic year, man. 2022, I, baby. I'll tell you right now, one of the things I really want to do as a resolution next year is grow this podcast into twice as many yes. listeners or more take care of the people who make this pod great which means my co-host here my producer i want to take care of you guys and i know right now we're still grinding it out hustling but i want to get to that point where we really really are at that point that <laughs> what the fuck am i going <laughs> the uh, top that of I the can, point that the you know we're yeah, up there the summit the summit of course we're up there we're climbing baby we're climbing we're in heaven baby and yo, heaven. thank you so much to the supporters and listeners in heaven all the ones that found us this year and just sharing it we really really appreciate spread the guys, word man. man you're gonna see a lot more thank of us you next so much year. for being great listeners and for listening to our bullshit mm. yeah yeah and yeah supporting us let the people know let yep. all the, let your parents know and if you guys want to support us we'll definitely have some merch in the next couple months watch out for that and yep. we love you dummies tune in next week for another episode of fun with dumb peace Bye. <laughs>